Hey everyone, it's Yejin. Y'all might remember, I was kind of excited. I don't normally do this, but I got myself a hooligan set by getting a bunch of silver compasses. I even put up a video about finding the compasses, and I was pretty happy. And I also got this silver plated, uh, silver plated vector skin. And, you know, pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, but I signed on the other day to discover naked. I'm naked. My, my hooligan set is gone. I had no idea that that was temporary. And now I understand there's a little clock you can see on the item and you only have it for a certain amount of time. But I, I traded in, I went and did all the work to get all the silver compasses to get that outfit. And now it's just gone. What do I want an outfit for five days for? That is just not, I just don't like playing these games. So I have a permanent outfit here that I got for, I guess, hitting platinum in season eight. It's nothing too special, but you know what? This isn't too far off from that hooligan set in terms of the style that I like. It's still got a little road warrior ish quality to it. A little, you know, some spiky pauldrons or whatever you call those there on the shoulders. This still fits the aesthetic that I'm cool with in this game. I'm not wearing a silly suit. I'm wearing something that a person who might kill you in a ruined landscape in a battle royale scenario might actually wear. So that's cool. So I figure while we're here and I'm annoyed about not having my keeping my suit, I'll just open some of these crates and things that I have. All right. Got a whole bunch of nothing on that one. Of course, these are all permanent. No little, uh, no little clocks next to them. Uh, this, this I can open. Well, I've got three of them and I might be able to get something. I haven't done a lot of this. So if it seems like there are strange pauses or I don't really know what I'm doing, it's because I'm really just exploring this part of the game for the first time. I like to, uh, to land and shoot people and try to win chicken dinners. That's usually what I do in the game. I've been noticing a lot of people seem to focus on this part of the game. Oh, look, a backpack. Awesome. Five days. That I can. All right. So I have this backpack for five days. I don't want. I don't want temporary items anymore. So you know what? I think. I think I'd rather just. Yeah. Let's go check a look at this backpack. Okay. Look, I can dismantle it. It's good for five days and I can dismantle it. Yep. Yeah, I think I'll just take the, the BP. Is it BP? Yeah. I want permanent items or nothing. Also for free, because I'm demanding that way. All right. Platinum crate from season six. I got heroes crates in that. I didn't realize I had rewards left over from season six. There's a, like I said, there's a lot of things about this game. I don't know, but I'm learning. Let's open these up. Okay. Bunch of stuff. I'm not going to wear. I'm not going to wear a skirt. So <laughs> I guess I can turn all this stuff into silver. Maybe if I have doubles. Can you turn single items into silver? I'll still have to figure that out. Premium crate coupon. Okay, this has got some stuff in it. I guess I can open this six times. Let's do it. Silver. Yeah. Running shoes. I don't even like shoes. Ooh, wait a minute. Bloody knife parachute. And you've completed the achievement... Certified skydive. You know what? That's cool. That's something I'm happy to have. And it looks like uh, I'll get to keep it. I think it won't go away. It's got blood coming from a skull. Uh, silver masquerade mask. No. No. Red DJ cap. And we're done. All right. Collect my reward for being a certified skydiver level one I had a black magma parachute I was kind of digging that one I like the shape 
of the like rectangular parachutes better, but I dig this, you know, violent, scary pirate skull one here. So we'll go with that. Okay, I'm naked again. Let's put the suit on. Season 8 outfit. That works for me. So here I am. This is how I'm going to roll. I feel like I was naked and robbed. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't too much fun. But this, I think I can reasonably expect to sign into the game and it's going to keep looking the way I left it. And that's what I want. Now, I reserve the right in the coming months to change my mind and start buying outfits and doing all that crap. But I'm not doing it yet. Okay, so here's the, the last part of this video. Hacked. Naked, robbed, and hacked. So I landed the hot drop here at boot camp, got some weapons, and started killing people. Yeah, duos go down. Probably a real player. Probably a bot. You know, yeah, all that stuff I do. And then I got into it with this guy. I didn't know I was going to be getting into it with this guy. I pop up to the top of the stairs and boom, out of nowhere, this fella is just waiting. They just know. Now, I decided I would spectate opponent because I always do it. This could have just been someone who knew I was there and took a shot at me. But Mr. DC Symbol Falcon, whatever that symbol is, gets on this bike, runs over here as if he knows this person will be here, immediately targets someone swimming in the water, and, yeah, takes them out. And then starts, it seems to me, scanning the landscape, and then... Could you see there was someone over there? This feels weird. This seems strange. Like this person knows where to look. Hmm. So, right now, my sense is that this player is racing to points on the map where there are... where there, you know, where there are going to be other players that are pre-identified. Now, of course, I would run over to a drop. That doesn't seem too, too much like a hacker. But I don't know. I feel like... Well, let's just keep watching a little bit. This, is, uh, this really does feel like a hacking scenario to me. Well, let's just drive over here. That that makes all the sense in the world. You wouldn't want to take your sniper rifle to a high point and scan the landscape for players. I think you would just ride straight through. And maybe you do. Maybe you go through until you hear people and get into it with them. But I don't know. What were you shooting at? You got someone inside. You don't. You did have someone inside there. Well. I think hacker. This just feels like. Okay, so now going outside of the zone. This feels specific. Okay up and down, like you were running towards a player you knew was going to be there, but then the zone started coming in, so you realized you had to move. But how would you know a player would be up in that specific spot? But let's see. Okay. Yeah, sure. Change scopes. you got to know somebody's there, right? R really? You anticipated a player, changed scopes, and then spotted them through trees like that? And they were knocked? Knocked by the zone? Is that right? No. This is hacking. Pretty certain this is hacking. Wh who are you shooting at now? Look, there's indicators of shots behind you. You're not even turning to look at them. You don't care. 
You just know there's a player you can't see, and you're fire. No, okay, so I don't know what the hack is called, but I think this person is just looking at a map where they can see where other players are. Again, giving away my own, you know, inexperience with games like this. I've never used such hacks. I've never seen them used. I'm just speculating. The rest of you watching this are probably like, yeah, dude, that's that's exactly what it is. Or you're saying, no, man, that's not how it works. Either way, it's probably pretty clear from what I'm saying. I don't really know what I'm talking about too much. I'm just learning about it here at my own expense. I was taken out of the game by this motorcycle racer who always knows where to go. Okay, this is where I would go, edge of the zone, at a high point. Okay, cool. So yeah, now you feel like a real player for a second. But yeah, no, you knew there was a person right there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooting at rocks and things. Now that, that may well be a real player. This just isn't, no. Okay, yeah, 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 sure. Sure, you're targeting them like that through the tree. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, good job there, man. DC Falcon. All right, so what's basically going to happen is we're going to continue to follow this player as they go player to player and then I'm pretty sure it just becomes bot to bot at the end and then it cuts off at the end. I think what has happened is using this these hacks, using these cheats, whatever they are, this player has wiped all of the real players out of the game and is left with bots. Um because the video recording stops, but the last kill and the, the last couple kills were just bots, you know. They were just they, they didn't act like real players. They didn't engage in a real way. We'll see the last couple here. I think I think when the video goes off, there's three left or two left. Um, but you know how it ends. This player used exploits and, and won the game, which I just don't know why that would be fun. But, yeah. Sure. That's a bot. And then just stand out in the open because you know there's no real player or no one with a sniper rifle would take you out. Maybe you know where the players are and you know there's nothing to worry about. Oh, there's one. Behind a tree. Yeah, okay. Just, yeah. Why not? Why not just do it that way? And then we're done. The hacker wins the game. And I lose. So, anyway. Naked. Robbed. Hacked. Alright, I'll get back to my normal video soon. I just wanted to, like, you know, put up some complaining. Thanks for watching. See you next time.